Ghanaians are from the tribe of Judah. Right. right here in Ghana amongst the Gold Coast, the Slave Coast. They called it what? The Kingdom of Judah. Right. The Kingdom of Judah. You got that map? Do we got the map? The Kingdom of Judah. Come out. Come out here. Step out here. Come out here, Cap. Look at this. Come on. Come on. What is this? What is that word? Judah! Right. right here amongst the Gold Coast of Ghana. God called you the Kingdom of Judah. So at one time you knew your name. At one time you knew your name. But what happened to our people? We were discontinued from our heritage because we broke the laws of God. Kingdom of Judah. Judah is we shall call Judah. No, no. Judah for the Ghana. Ghana has any other. Yeah, what? I'm from the Bible. No, Messi say you did. Messi say you say free Ghanaians. You free Africans. And you mommy sorry, mommy sorry, mommy sorry. Yeah. All because we broke the laws of God. But God said He prophesied in the last days that we would come back together as the nation of Israel. Read that in verse 11. Verse 11. Then shall the children of Judah. And the children of Israel uh -huh. be gathered together. And the gathering starts now. Remember what Jesus Christ said. The kingdom of heaven is within you. The right. kingdom of heaven is within you. Come on. Right. Read it again. Verse 11. Verse 11. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head. One head, Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. Okay, not all these other, these presidents, these prime ministers that you have here in Africa, they don't have your best interests at heart. Our king is the black man, the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. At Israel for you before, you are not going to be as soon as yes, do so. No, you do not. And you are going to be on some road. No, yeah, and we are not going to be as soon as. At the moment, I said, "Child, I will never marry someone." And you are doing so. What happened to our people? We were discontinued from our heritage. Quick question: When were when were we discontinued from our heritage? What period of time? When were we discontinued from our heritage? Ebra, Ebra, Ben, I feel like I am not going to be on my idea. I am not going to be on. Ebra, Ben, I feel you. You don't know. Do you know? He don't know. Okay, we're going to show you. Deuteronomy 28, I want verse 64. I'm going to show you what happened to our people. I'm going to show you what happened to our people according to the Bible. And you have a share, but I had you tell me 28, verse 64. Say that Yakupo de Maya, the Abatuya, I did a best, I am who may be free, the Yakupo de Maya, free on the Baba Come on. Deuteronomy 28. Verse 4. So what are we about to read? The curses that God put upon the children of Israel. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So God said he's going to scatter us among all people. Come on. From the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. From one end of the earth into the other. How did God do that? How did God do that? You ever heard of Elmina Castle? Ask him if you ever heard of Elmina Castle. What was going on at Elmina Castle? Who were they selling? Ask him. Who's, who were they selling? The black man, yes, Bible prophecy. The black man, the Israelites was being sold from Elmina Castle. Right. Come on. This is recorded in the Bible, but you've never been taught this. Your pastors haven't been teaching you this. Your mothers, your teachers, your fathers, they haven't been teaching you this. Come on, read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. You hear this, brother? God says we're going to serve. Oh, come here, come here. You ain't, you ain't done yet. Come here. The Bible says. The Bible says, there you shall serve other gods, both wood and stone. Translate. It was it. So 
So where did you get this cross? Who gave you this cross? Who told you that was a representation of Jesus? Who told you that? For what? Why? Because if Bruni told you this was a representation of Christ, but it's not. God calls that idolatry. Come here, come here, you step out. Read, stay right here. Read verse 64 again for him. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. Mm. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. Uh -huh. And then thou shalt serve other gods, uh -huh. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. Wood and stone. This is a representation of the so-called white man. Your fathers didn't know what that was. That was given to you by the oppressor. And you say, no, you time for a moment. I'm going to share you know, I'm going to you know, this across with the mouth. Say, and yes, anyway, and to be fair, when you say, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, some bosom, oh, some bosom, yeah, come on, some bosom across, I didn't say, oh, some bosom, you flew come and to go, baby. This is a curse on you. God calls that a curse. That is a curse. Now, do you love God? You love God? Are you sure? Give me first job. First job. And to I say, what do I have a pound? What do I have a pound? See, what's what do I have a pound? What do I have a pound? Where no man and a doubt for all Come on. This is the book of 1 John, uh -huh. chapter 2, verse 3. Come on. And hereby we do know that we know him uh -huh. if we keep his commandments. God says we know God if. If we keep his commandments, right now you are breaking God's commandment. Read. Come on. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he that said, I know him. Because you said you know God, you said you love God. And keep it not his commandments. Right now you're not keeping the commandments of God. This is idolatry. Come on. It's a liar. God says you are a liar if you continue with this cross on your neck. Why? Because it is a teacher of lies. So, so, so brother man, if you love God, you will take that off your neck. That's repentance. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Take it off. Take off the devil off your neck. Take the devil off your neck. Take the devil. Here, here, you can keep the chain. Keep the chain. You take it and throw it away. Take the devil off your neck. That is repentance. That is repentance. Come on. So God says we'll be scattered amongst all nations. You hear that, young man? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. I say, Yahoo, I say, Abba, I have to be as you know. When you have such a job, why are you? When you have such a job, I'm such a job. Why are you? Let me ask you something now, because you got a cross on your shirt. You got a cross right here. Guess what? That's not biblical. I say, Oh, Sam, let me tell you, Mr. Okom, Mr. Okom, where I never have with you, I never have with you. Is this your father? Is that your father? Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask all four of you something. Where in the Bible does it say Jesus Christ is a Ubloni? Where in the Bible does it say Christ is a white man? What's it? What's it? Where in the Bible does it say Jesus Christ is a white man? Where in the Bible does it say Christ is white? It doesn't have any There's no quotation, it's not in here. So I'm gonna ask you something. Why do you have the image of the beast? Why do you have the image of the white man? Why do you have the image of Ubruni on your neck? Why do you have that on your neck? This is a teacher of lies. Christ, according to the Bible, looks just like you. And we're gonna prove it. You love God? Take this off your neck. It's of the devil. Take it off. Take it off. Don't be afraid. Yank it off. Yank it off. It's garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. Watch this. Revelation. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Come on. And to you say I can revenge chapter one verse fourteen. What is that? I say I come here. Muda, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, if I went to a corner, I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So, I'm a whole boy. I never say I'm a person. So,
were white like wool. The Bible says the hair on his head, the hair on his head and his facial hair was all white, but it was like wool. Wool. What is woolly hair? Woolly hair is this. This is woolly hair. This is woolly hair. This is woolly hair. You have woolly hair. A white man does not have woolly hair. This is the devil that the Bible speaks of. It's not biblical. It's a teacher of lies. It was meant to deceive our people in slavery. Now you look at the so-called white man as God, but he's not a God. Jesus Christ was a black man with white woolly hair. Read. Come on. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Come on. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read on. Verse 15. And his feet. Now his feet, the same way I can see your feet. John looked down at Jesus' feet. Now he's describing Jesus' feet. And his feet like unto fine brass. God says his feet is like fine brass. What color is brass? What color is brass? I say, yes, you so. Now who's you know? And I said, the only city I know. And then brass, brass. And then say, the color is brass. One person, one color. The other color bear. One person, one color bear. Are there? Can I say? Silver. I guess silver. One person that for me. Hey, brother man, you, you, grown man. What color is brass? Brass. How you don't know what color brass is? One person that for me. Color bear. One person that for the for you know the white. Okay, say that you know. Oh man, let's see. Well, let's see if the young children know. What color is brass? Burnt brass. One person that for the for you know the What? What? So this young man know and you don't know? How old are you, young child? Thirteen? A thirteen-year-old child knows what color brass is, but the grown man doesn't. You are right. God says his feet look like fine brass, dark brown, dark brown. And you are saying, yes, you so know that the next slide, and you're brown, brown, so one person who are crying, one person who are crying, brown. Say that, brother, I'm afraid when you're 13 years, I can't have a brown. So what color is Jesus Christ? What color is he? Because it's written in the Bible. What color is Christ? A black, come here, come here, say it again. Say it loud, loud and proud. What color is Christ? Black man. Say it again. A black man. Hey, Say it again. A black man. Christ hey, is a black man. Hey, That's man. written in the Holy Bible. That's right. And to your brother, a small boy, 13 years old, was saying that I can't replace him with 14, 15 old. Yes, you know you're too tum, or you're too tum, or you're too tum. A black man, I can't help. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Yes, you know you're too tum. Right. So now, when you go home, you have the scriptures to give to your parents. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14 says Jesus Christ is a black man. Read it again in English. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. So yes, Jesus Christ is a black man. So now you got to ask yourself, where did the devil come from? Hold this up. Where did this image come from? Where did this beast come from? Who gave this to you? Who gave you that image? Go to Matthew 24, verse 3. My brother, who gave you that picture? Who told you that was Jesus? You right here with the glasses and the white shirt. Who told you that image was Jesus Christ? Who told you that was Jesus? Come on, break it down. Go ahead. Who told you that was Jesus? The white man. The white man told you that was Jesus. I got a question for you. Come here. Who told you that was Jesus? You got it on your neck. Who told you that was Jesus? Huh? Your pastor's are lying to you. That's not biblical. You walking around with the image of the beast on your neck. Right. If you love God, you would take that off. That's a curse. That's a curse. Now you wonder why Ghana's in poverty. Let's read it. Matthew 24. Come on, let's three. Read. Matthew 24 verse 3. Come on. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. Matthew 24. Verse 3. Verse 2. Verse 4. Verse 4. Come on. Matthew 24 verse 4. Come on. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed. 
that no man deceive you. He said, take yep, heed yep, that yep. no man deceive you. You know who deceived you? The same people that gave you the white image of Jesus Christ. I say, yes, yes, yes. And no be another. Take a man to twenty-four. Verse four. Say, hey, no be another. When I die, I go see you. I go see you. No, yeah. If you knew where by, no. On one the side, I die. No, on one the side, I die. Before I is right for no. Read. Matthew twenty-four, verse four. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Who is the many that came in Jesus Christ? Name. Who is the many that came in the name of Christ? What's it? Why did you join our mobile? I see yes, Christo. We have grown, you know. Our dear twenty church, seven church, I have before. And why? And why? Why did we bring you? And why? Why? These are the people that came in the name of Christ. These are the people that came in the name of Christ and gave you religion. As you remo, we have never buy only yes, Christo. Did ever buy? Say we have, we have. Only the assumed ever buy, and we have more. Yes, we have John Smith, sixteen oh eight. Joseph Smith, 1830. Ellen G. White, 1863. Charles T. Russell, 1872. Charles Perham, Pentecostal Church, 1901. Those are all man-made religions right. from the so-called white men when we had us in slavery. Right. Come on. And you have any here. Remember, Asomino, Ezia Asomino, Pentecost Asomino, Baptist and Sumo, let us say the Sumo, Jehovah and Sumo, and possibly let it buy, yeah? Only man in the air can't sell Matthew 24, verse 4. I'm going to bet that I say, yes, you're Bruni, and I'm going to want to try and check, and I bet that I had before I had Israel for no. Read it again, Matthew 24, verse 4. Matthew 24, verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive. Many. So were you people deceived? Were the people, the sons and daughters in Africa, the nation of Israel, deceived? Yes, 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 you were deceived. Yes, what's your question, brother? What's your question? All of you should have questions. Bible, uh, Bible. I don't find a Bible if you buy if you, yeah, yeah. It's a Matthias, yes, sir. This is for a black man. The Bible has started from Africa. It's the analysis of the people. I'm going to put it on as a young man. His question is that yes. the so called watchman yes. is the one who wrote the Bible, or we, the people here, wrote the Bible? No, black people wrote the Bible. The Israelites. God is God. God is our Father. Come on. The Israelites. The Israelites wrote the Bible. There is no proof that the white man wrote the Bible. I'm going to show you. Let's start with color. Because if the white man wrote the Bible, he would have removed all the color out of the Bible. Let's start with our forefathers. Let's go to the book of Job. Let's start with Job. Job 30 verse 30. Come on. If you want to see a chair, say I brought for the chair Bible now. If I have the color of Bible, ma. Yeah, I have the two two for a Bible, ma. I have a brought for a cross for Oma. Say chair, so I'm not Bible yet, but I'm not clear yet. You remember? The book of Job, chapter thirty, verse thirty. My skin is blood upon me. What thing? What's it? Job thirty, verse thirty. Say, Job said, I read the other two two. Job, what did Job do in that? What's it? I read the other two two. Did that Job ever go there? That's what we believe. Job. Verse 30. Job said, My skin is black upon me. My skin, skin, my skin, skin. This is skin, skin. My skin is black upon me. The white man, if he wrote the Bible, he would have, he would have, oh, he would have took that out. Come on. Let's get Saul of Solomon. You heard of King Solomon. How many of you heard of King Solomon? King Solomon? Have you heard of King Solomon? Let's see what King Solomon said he looked like. Son of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am blood, but comely. You hear what? Read verse 1, then verse 5. Son of Solomon, 1, verse 1. The song of songs, which is Solomon. So who wrote the song of songs? Solomon. What's it? One of you. Solomon, woman, and Solomon, and I had a actually, and you have a twasso. Verse 5. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Come on. I am blood. I am what? I am blood. I am what? 
I am black, but comely. So I'm so why you two two so who are they? I fat, I fat. So I'm so why you two two so who are fat? So what color is King Solomon? Black, black, black. If a white man would have wrote that, he would have took it out. He would have took it out. The the Bible was inspired and written by our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all the prophets. Not the so-called white man. The white man gave you religion. He gave you religion. Lift that back. Oh, right here. This is what he gave you. He gave you religion. God never gave us religion. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. Psalm 78 verse 5. Come on. Yeah, because Psalm chapter 78 verse 5. Oh. So he established a testimony in Jacob uh -huh. and appointed a law in Israel oh, come on. which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children uh -huh. that the generation to come might know them even the children which, shall, which should be born. That's it. Who should arise and declare them to their children? Translate. Okay, Psalm 78, verse 5. Everybody in Siena, when they are married, they are children. They are not just for no, just for passing for no. Any man who meet no, and now brought for. If they are married, they are married. They are from. They are married. They are children. So they are married. See if they are married. They are not And they are married. They are who are married. They are married. And they are born. They are not working. They are not married. They are not married. So the Bible says that He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. You hear that, young children? God never gave us religion. God never gave us religion. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. Get me, Daniel. Now, if Christ, if Jesus Christ is a black man, what does God look like? Right, you know. Very good. All praises to the Most High. You hear that? God is a black man. We're going to prove it in the Bible. First, let's go to the creation. Before you get Daniel, get me Genesis. Get me Genesis 1 verse 26. I want Genesis 1 26. Come on. Here's the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. What does the word Genesis mean? The beginning, the beginning, the beginning. And to say, Genesis, no man, I said, I said, I have seen it, I shall see it, I shall see it. Come on. And God said, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. Who was the first man that God created? Adam, the first man that God created is who? The first man that God created. What's it? Adam. That's right. Who? Let's find out what color Adam was. Let's find out what color Adam was. Adam. Because all throughout the earth we've seen white images of Adam. The same way we've seen white images of Jesus Christ. So God says let us make man in our image. And to say, Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Read it again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. What color? What color is the dust of the ground? Come here, come here, come here. All of y'all put your arms out. God said, God said, God said, let us make man in our image. Genesis 2 verse 7 said, God made man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Arms out. 
Arms out, all together. All together for all brothers and sisters. Put your arms out. What color? What color? What color? What color is the dust of the ground? Huh? What do you say? Yes, it look like yes. Yes, what? What color is it? Black, brown, dark brown. Dark brown. So what color was Adam, the first man? Dark brown. He was a black man according to the Bible. The first man, Adam, was a black man, not Ipuroni. Where is that in the Bible? Where is that in the Bible? Take that off your neck. That is idolatry, man. Okay. We've been suffering. We've been suffering for way too long. Throw it away. We've been suffering for way too long. Worshiping the white man. We've been suffering for way too long. Why you think the Most High won't bless the children of Ghana? You Israelites, you walking around with white images on your neck. You're going to their churches bowing down in front of white statues. Come on. So the Bible said this is the day of idolatry. Come on, man. It's the white image of Bruni. That's not in the Bible. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off your neck, man. Take it off. You are an Israelite. Take it off. Come on. Hold it. Give me that shit, man. Give me that shit. Toss that. That's idolatry according to the Bible. Let's go. Y'all don't see the good. Y'all don't see Hosea, Hosea 4 and 6. You don't see how destroyed we are? We are on a black continent. And y'all walking around with the white image of Jesus Christ on your neck. The white image of Mary on your neck. The white images of angels on your neck. That is not biblical. Right. Read. The book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Listen, listen. My people listen. are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You hear that young man? You, right here, pay attention. God says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That's why you're walking around with Ibruni on your neck. Read it again. Hosea 4 verse 6. My people. Who's God's people? Uh, you. You are God's people. You are God's people. You are God's people. You are God's people. What did God say? I'm translating. Come on, come on. Come on. I say, Me my I Me my Me my Yes, you have Come on. What's that for the sake? Come on. My people uh -huh. are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee. Why were the sons and daughters of the Israelites scattered here in Africa forgotten? God said he rejected us. Right. Why? Because we rejected him by breaking his commandments. Right. Go back to Daniel. Jesus Christ is a black man. Adam is a black man. God says, let us make man in our image. So what color is God? How does he look like? How does the text of his hair feel? How does it look like? It's written in the Bible. Come on. The book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. So this is Daniel. Daniel had a vision. All the ruling powers on the earth was cast down. America cast down. Europe cast down. Guess what? The prime ministers and presidents in Africa cast down. Hey. Come on. The book of Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld 
to the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days the set. Who's the ancient of days, God? When it is a dead, you know. When it is a dead, you know. Come on. And the ancient of days the set. Whose garment was what? Whose garment? In order to have a garment, God had to have a body. Come on. Whose garment was white as snow. Come on. And the hair huh? of his head. The hair on God's head. The hair on God's head. And to the people, the Syria and the good Syria, the Syria and the good Syria, the Babel hair. Come on. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. What texture was God's hair? What say? Now, the people of the Syria, let us say, let us say. And say, and say before then, as I brought for the end. It said like the pure wool. What's ask it? Her, ask her what texture is wool. What's it? A hey, wool. Hey, come here, come here, man. Emmanuel, come here. Come here. This is wool. This is woolly hair. He has the same texture as God's hair. Where's this it? is the same hair we read about. You know, I don't know. I am pesa pesa. I am woolly hair. Say, I'm going to put it in the air. I don't see you in Emmanuel, you have a question? Does he have a question? Do you have a question? No question? Let me ask you a question. Why are the sons and daughters right here in Ghana, why are they suffering? Why do we suffer? Why are we suffering? Why do we suffer as a nation of people? You have not seen the truth, correct? The truth according to the Bible is God's laws. Let me show you something. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Oh, oh. This is the book of Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place. God said he's going to go and return unto his place. When did God go and return unto his place? Give me the pictures right here. Hold this up. When did God hold that up too? When did God go and return to his place? Slavery. 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 Shipped from Almina Castle. Shipped from Cape Coast. Slavery. Right here in Ghana. Taken into slavery everywhere. God said he's going to go and return unto his place. Read. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place to they acknowledge their offense. Have we been acknowledging our offense? No, we haven't. Because our people are still in these stupefied churches, still celebrating religions, still breaking God's laws, walking around with idols on their necks. Come on. I will go and return to my place. Emmanuel, listen up. You got a biblical name. You know what Emmanuel means? Do you know what Emmanuel means? What does it mean? Very good. God is with, but God is only with us when we keep His commandments. Come on. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. How do we seek God's face, Emmanuel? Emmanuel, how do we seek God's face? Let's get that Isaiah 34, verse 16. Come on. The book of Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. You hear that? The Bible says to seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. What is the book of the Lord? The Bible. Good. The Bible, not the Quran. The Bible. The Bible don't have a hammer, but when I go on Ransom, no way that I can kind of. And then the Quran, and the book of a Bible, no, and also a Shamayer, or I can't come when I go on Ransom, and the booze are there. Oh, here I go on, oh, here I go on. Azar chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want a mate. For my mouth it has commanded, and his spirit. It has gathered them. And his spirit, it has given them flyers. And his spirit has commanded them. Meaning the Bible reigns supreme. You can't make the Bible with no book. God's words is what gathered these to be compiled in, in what we have called today the Bible. 
the Bible. Go back to Hosea 515. So why are we suffering as a people? Because we continue to break God's laws. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15 I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction they will seek me early you hear what the Bible says? God says in their affliction they shall seek me early in their affliction, in your suffering, you will seek God's face early. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.